We've always taken for granted that naming things, and each other, is a uniquely human skill, maybe shared with a few other brainy animals like dolphins. But what if a tiny primate deep in the rainforest is also calling its friends by name? Get this, recent research has revealed something astonishing about marmoset monkeys. Scientists discovered that these small social monkeys use specific, unique fee calls to address individual members of their group. They aren't just making random noises. They're basically shouting, Hey, Bob! Or, Is that you, Alice? In their own complex language. Researchers noticed that the monkeys knew when a call was meant for them specifically and responded more accurately. This completely upends what we thought we knew about the line between human and animal communication. It suggests the building blocks for language, for creating labels and social bonds, might have evolved right alongside our own ancestors, all driven by the simple need to keep a tight-knit family together. It blurs the line of what makes us so special and forces us to look at the entire animal kingdom with a new level of respect. Most of us think of cancer as a tragic lottery, a disease sparked by random mutations or something in our environment. But what if the roadmap for how cancer spreads was already written into your DNA from the day you were born? In an incredible shift in our understanding, research from 2024 and 2025 has zeroed in on metastasis, the deadly process where cancer spreads. Scientists identified a common inherited gene variant that doesn't make you more likely to get breast cancer, but it massively increases the odds that it will spread. In one major study, women with two copies of this variant had a shocking 22% risk of their cancer spreading within 15 years, compared to just a 2% risk for those without it. Think about that for a second. The soil of our bodies, our inherited genes, might be just as important as the seed which is the cancer cell itself. This isn't just a scary statistic. It's a revolutionary new angle to fight the disease. It opens the door for a future where we could screen for this variant and use targeted therapies, some of which are already approved for things like high cholesterol, to stop metastasis before it even begins. It changes cancer from a game of chance to a predictable enemy we can finally get one step ahead of. For decades, HIV has been one of the most formidable viruses humanity has ever faced. We've developed treatments that turned it from a death sentence into a manageable condition. But true prevention remained the ultimate goal, until now. In a landmark clinical trial with results announced in 2024, an injectable drug called lenacopavir did something we've never seen before. It was 100% effective in preventing HIV infection. A study involving thousands of women in Africa found zero new infections in the group that received the twice yearly shot. Let that sink in. Zero. This isn't just a slightly better version of the daily pills we already have. It's a total game changer. The drug works by attacking the protective shell around HIV's genetic material stopping the virus in its tracks. A simple injection, just two times a year, could offer complete protection and solve the real-world problem of trying to remember to take a pill every single day. This breakthrough has the potential to truly end the HIV epidemic for everyone, everywhere, offering incredible hope where there was once fear. Imagine popping in a pair of contact lenses and suddenly being able to see perfectly in total darkness. No bulky green goggles, no batteries, just your own eyes, supercharged. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie, it's a real technology being developed right now. Scientists have created revolutionary contact lenses that let you see in the infrared spectrum. The lenses are embedded with special nanoparticles that absorb invisible infrared light and convert it into light your eyes can actually see. In tests, human participants wearing the lenses were able to detect infrared signals, basically giving them night vision. And here's the wild part. 
It works even with your eyes closed, because near-infrared light can pass right through your eyelids. This technology is blurring the line between our natural senses and what technology can add. It's still in early stages, but the potential uses are mind-boggling. From helping firefighters see through smoke to everyday applications we can't even dream of yet. It makes you wonder, what are the limits of human perception? Soon, the answer might just be whatever we want them to be. Ever since the microscope was invented, we've been able to see the building blocks of life, but we've always been looking at a still photo, a single moment of a cell frozen in time. What if we could finally hit play? At Brookhaven National Laboratory, scientists have combined two powerful X-ray techniques to create what is essentially a 3D movie of the inside of a living cell. Using hard X-ray tomography and fluorescence microscopy, they can see a cell's detailed structures, the nucleus, the organelles, and track the chemical elements moving within it, all without destroying the cell. This is like going from studying a factory's blueprint to having a live security feed of every worker, machine, and product moving down the assembly line in real time. We can now watch the molecular machinery of life as it happens. This gives us an unprecedented window into understanding health and disease, letting us see exactly how a virus attacks or how a medicine works on the most fundamental level. We're no longer just observing life, we're watching it live. Mind blown yet? If you're enjoying this journey into the science that's reshaping our reality, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're only halfway through the list, and I promise you, things are about to get even stranger. Don't miss out. You've probably heard of CRISPR, the gene editing tool often called molecular scissors for its ability to cut and paste DNA. That was already a revolution. But the technology has since evolved into something way more sophisticated. In 2024, scientists found new CRISPR systems that act less like scissors and more like molecular fumigators, flooding infected cells with toxins to stop pathogens in their tracks. It's a brand new powerful defense mechanism we've harnessed from bacteria. At the same time, the first FDA-approved CRISPR therapy, Casgevy, is now being used to directly fix the DNA of patients with genetic disorders like sickle cell disease, offering real cures instead of just managing symptoms. And in May 2025, the world saw the first ever personalized CRISPR therapy created for an infant developed in just six months to treat a rare genetic disease. This isn't science fiction anymore. We are actively, precisely, and safely rewriting the code of life to cure diseases that were once considered a life sentence. With AI now helping to design even safer gene editors, we're at the dawn of a new era of medicine, one where our own biology is becoming programmable. For all the amazing tech in our phones, laptops, and electric cars, they've all been shackled by the same weak link, the battery. But the age of slow charging and range anxiety is finally about to end, thanks to solid-state batteries. Unlike the liquid or gel used in today's lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries use a solid material. This makes them safer, lets them hold more energy, and allows them to charge insanely fast. Recent breakthroughs in 2025 have proven that car-sized batteries can charge from 15% to 90% in just 18 minutes. Think about that. A nearly full charge for your car in the time it takes to grab a coffee. This tech is on the verge of making electric vehicles way more practical and affordable, with the potential to double their range to over 500 miles on a single charge. Major car companies are already planning to get them into test fleets by 2026. This isn't some far-off dream. It's the next great leap in energy that will not only change how we get around, but will also speed up our move to a world powered by clean energy.
The ultimate dream of clean energy is to copy nature, to do what plants do every single day, turn sunlight and water into fuel. For decades, making green hydrogen this way has been a huge challenge. But we're getting incredibly close. Researchers have built a prototype reactor that uses nothing but sunlight to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. A new triple layer catalyst developed in Sweden was shown to boost the efficiency of this process by a mind-boggling 800%. This method completely skips the need for massive amounts of electricity from other sources, which is how most hydrogen is made today. It's a direct conversion of solar energy into a clean fuel you can store. If this technology can be scaled up, it could solve one of the biggest headaches with renewables. Energy storage. We could capture the sun's power during the day and store it as hydrogen to be used whenever and wherever we need it to power the heavy trucks, ships, and planes that batteries can't handle. We would finally have a way to bottle sunshine. The question, are we alone, has haunted us for centuries. With every new telescope, we inch a little closer to an answer. And in early 2024, NASA announced a discovery that made the universe feel a little less lonely. They found TOI 715b, a super-Earth, about one and a half times bigger than our own planet, just 137 light-years away. What makes this planet so exciting is that it orbits perfectly within its star's habitable zone, the Goldilocks region, where temperatures could be just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. And it might not be alone. There's a hint of a second, possibly Earth-sized planet in the same system that could also be habitable. While we still have a lot to learn, TOI 715b is one of the most promising worlds we've found in the search for life. Because it's relatively close, the James Webb Space Telescope might even be able to study its atmosphere. Discoveries like this are turning the search for aliens from a philosophical debate into a real scientific quest, helping us narrow down the cosmic map to specific tantalizing places. And for our final fact, we come to something that challenges the very foundation of our existence. You, me, this screen, everything we see is made of matter. But physics says that for every particle of matter, there should be an equal and opposite antiparticle. So, where is all the antimatter? It's one of the biggest mysteries out there. To try and solve it, scientists at Brookhaven National Laboratory are just making it themselves. By smashing gold ions together at nearly the speed of light, they recreated the conditions of the early universe and in late 2024, created the heaviest antimatter nucleus ever seen anti-hyperhydrogen-4. This bizarre particle, made of an anti-proton, two anti-neutrons, and an even weirder anti-hyperon, existed for just a flash before vanishing. Out of billions of collisions, they found just 16 of these anti-ghosts. Creating and studying these fleeting particles lets physicists test our understanding of the universe to its absolute limits looking for tiny differences between matter and antimatter that could explain why we live in a universe of something instead of nothing at all. It's a fact that reminds us that our solid, stable reality is balanced on a knife's edge, the strange result of a cosmic accident we are only just beginning to understand. So, there you have it. From the secret language of monkeys to the ghost particles of the early universe, Science is revealing a world that is far stranger and more amazing than we ever thought possible. These discoveries aren't just trivia. They're fundamental shifts in how we see ourselves, our planet, and our place in the cosmos. They show us that reality isn't set in stone. It's a story that's constantly being updated. Which of these facts blew your mind the most? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the wonders of science, Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on. Thanks for watching.